I didn't know what engineering was for a long time. It wasn't until I was in high school and I took cellular biology that I realized I could do engineering. And then I came to college and I realized I didn't like biology at all, but, <laughs> but I really liked engineering. I signed up for this major without having any idea what, what it involved. I just saw the word you know, medical and engineering and I figured I couldn't go wrong. I would help somebody. When I was a freshman in college, I studied abroad immediately to get some experience and see a little bit of the world. I was in the Amazon rainforest where I was lucky enough to shadow these medical students. It was incredible how many, how many patients were already at the door at 7 a.m. And some of them walked for, for hours through the jungle to get to the clinic. At the end of the day when we were packing up, an old man had come to us and this man wanted a pair of glasses. We couldn't give him a prescription. We didn't know what prescription he needed, so we couldn't hand up a, a pair. And I realized if I had just made an instrument that was very intuitive to use, I could bypass the fact that there aren't a lot of clinicians in developing nations. The diagnostic could be handed to any medical students or any regular student and they would know how to use it like the view master and they would be able to get someone's prescription easily. We call it the vision finder. It's basically those large phoropters you see at the optometrist and we shrunk it down into this tiny travel size, almost children's toy. suddenly it just hit me. This is the right thing to do. You know, you have that moment in your life when you know this is the right thing to do. Everything is fitting the way it should be. All the puzzles are coming together. And, and, and I went with it. I, I did it. <laughs>